Welcome to tutorial number 151, number 6 in the sheet metal series. In this tutorial, we're going to continue talking about the edge flange, and it will be the last part about edge flange. We will talk about the edge flange position, and then we will see how to make a mitral flange from edge flange, and then flange length and merge. The first thing I would like to say, until this tutorial, you should be able to create sheet metal boxes similar to this without any problem. In the previous tutorial, we showed you many times how to create the same thing. We have this box created in the previous tutorial. We said about this corner down here that it doesn't look the way I would like to see it to manage this bending. Go again to edge flange one, edit the feature, and here in this section, the flange position. The best way to understand this feature is have a look at the shape over here. For example, we have here material inside. So in this case, the bending is inside. If you select the second option, material outside, you will notice now it looks better. Just click OK, so a better look depending on the requirements. We go again to edit feature to see the next options. Here you have the bend outside. So you have the whole bending outside as you can see over here, go and see the next option. It branch, and here you will have bin from virtual chart. And it will be similar to the first option in this shape, it will not be clear. And also, the, the last will look like the first option for this simple shape. So now let's pick the first option or the third option okay and here you have the bending outside so what if you need that bending to be a little bit more you can create an offset in this case go to edit feature and down here you have an offset and you can extend that surface more whenever I can add three millimeter so this option give you offset of zero and here you can increase that offset the same way as we learned before you can up to vertex up to surface or offset from surface we went through these options before so let's make three millimeter and here you have the reverse direction you can have the offset inside you can click ok and and if you change it you will get the offset outside So now I'm going to show another thing. Go to the edge flange and select the first option without an offset. Click OK. This is our first shape and I would like to have that surface here to be parallel with this edge or on the same level. But the cut down here doesn't look that perfect it is sharp in here um, and it might tear while bending we can fix this issue by adding a trim edit the feature again and down here trim side bends click ok now it looks better 
and easier to bend without the risk of tearing the sheet. Before talking about the edge to edge flange to mitre flange, I would like to talk about the, the merge and length, which we talked about in the previous tutorial. We created this edge flange by up to edge and merge. This feature will work in case you have the second sheet metal with the same thickness with the first. So it should be the same sheet of metal. If we edit this base flange over here and override the, the values here and add to, assume we have a different material, different sheet thickness, click OK and you will get an error. So you should have the same thickness. We use the default parameter and click OK. And now I will talk about the edge flange to miter flange. Suppress this extended sheet over here. Suppress and, and we have this basic box. We have an option here called miter flange. But we are still on the edge flange command. And we will see how you can create a miter flange by using the edge flange. Go to the edge flange select this edge select this edge now when you select third edge you will notice it converted into a mitre flange select the fourth edge and now you have this mitre shape and they are overlapping over each other this for now click ok and you will get a warning that this is intersecting. Close for now and you will see how to fix this. So for fixing the miter intersection, there should be a gap between these two edges. Go again to the edge flange here and you can notice that you have a gap so this is the gap distance you can change it and you can notice here in the shape you can make it two millimeter or three millimeter and keep it two millimeter and then click ok and now you will notice the warning is solved You can also the same option which we talked about in the previous tutorial. You can add an angle. For example, you can make it 100 over here, and you will have the bending inside. Or you can make it outside bend. Adding 80. And the next option as well, you can notice over here the length and the position of the flange. And when you are done, click OK. So now we have this box, which we wanted to make. And in order to produce this box, you can go to flatten, as we learned, and um, suppress this option. And you will see the piece of sheet metal need to be cut to create that box.
and here you can exit the flat in 